Okay guys, let's begin with edit and update uh, in list view using, sorry it's not row command, it's item command. And this one is really cool. And please note if you are a beginner then you need to watch my previous video in order to understand this video. Else it would be okay, no problem. So let's uh, check what we did in the previous video, layout template, item template, alternating template and the edit item template okay layout is simple <coughs> we got 4th right cool then we got item template and item template we have button edit id then name and a nickname and command name was simply edit right <coughs> again no problem same goes with the alternating template as well but in id uh, oh yeah. and one more thing i have implemented the LST user uh, item editing event which goes for both item template as well and for the alternating template I mean these two guys has a functionality to take me to the edit item template okay in case of it, uh, edit item template what I have done is I have two buttons as usual but last time what we saw was it was update comma update simply it was update but now it is cancel I'm sorry update command and cancel is cancel command so it's like you know we are creating a custom command I mean you can set up your own name let's say uh, uh, I mean I can say update I'm sorry update Leo and we'll say cancel Leo right <coughs> I'm sorry and now uh, in order to control these guys I need to have the control over them so in order to do that let's go to properties there is an important command event which we need to implement which would be item command okay and item command event what i'll first check is if e dot command name is equal to update leo if it is update leo then i'll have the update logic if e dot command name is equal to cancel Leo then I have, I'll have the cancel routine right simple enough right you can uh, I mean give the meaningful name to your command name now as we discussed previously right I'm sorry Let's <coughs> so as you can see as we discussed when you click edit you go to the edit more right but in order to edit this whole thing what we need is the id because based on which we'll be doing the update updation right name if you update the name or a nickname then we'll be updating the same thing in the database as well so these three guys are very important these two text box and one label but over here we'll be doing something different right uh, over here we got a key player called as e dot item this guy will help you to find the control so let's say uh, I'm searching for name first name is a text box which I know very well so I'll go e dot item dot find control and I say I know the name of the text box which is nothing but txt name okay and I'll say I'm sorry as text box right so I got the name same way I'll get my nickname as well so it would be uh, nickname um, nickname right and this guy would be a name so in order to show you a proof uh, what I'll do is one second I will make a response dot right so you get the idea okay actually I'm getting the values so response dot right and then I will say uh, name will print the name and we'll give some space and then we'll give nickname again and semicolon and this is a text box so I need to provide the text property same goes for this guy and let's run <coughs> now as you can see I'm having a data as well and my edit button is there if I click the update button I get the Leo text box value and the bastard right if I click the edit I'm sorry something went wrong okay if it is this gangs if I change it to X and bounty hunter X if I update, I get the new updated values which I need basically, right? Now the left or left over part is the ID, 
same this okay so for id let's copy the same thing okay let's keep it simple uh, there is one more way we can do that to get the id but uh, i'll show you first this technique it is lvl id okay and now i need to add one more thing that should be lvl id the text i'm sorry it would be id something wrong id the text then plus the okay everything looks great let's run <coughs> And as you can see if I edit and if I say update now I got one as well now once I have that then what's the problem simply what we need to do is update logic right which we did in our previous video so as usual what I'll do is I will call aware update what is wrong with my keyboard update result this time I'll use some different way last time I used the lemma from X and context.tbl users where x.id dot equals to what you know it right it, it would be id dot text <coughs> if it is matches then as well then we'll select the whole object select x and how many records do we want we want only one record so we'll go by dot first or default okay now first and default is a you know if you're using the first then it will get the first record but if you say <coughs> I'm sorry first or default then it may give you a null which is pretty helpful in this case if we get the null so we get the idea okay, okay this record does not exist in the database so we don't need to think about this but if it's not equal to null that means we have found a correct match in the database and now based on which we'll be updating update result dot name that goes with uh, name dot text okay and update uh, result dot nickname that goes with uh, nickname dot text fine and as you can see nickname and both are given here so it should not be issue and last thing as usual context dot submit changes it's all done and one more thing <coughs> That's the user in order to get the updated result, right? Edit index is equal to minus one and load data. Copy the same thing for a cancel command. Okay, that's the functionality. Control KD. Let's run. I hope not missing anything this time. Let's uh, change close C to go raw and this would be a go see and let's try to update okay it works fine if i do make a cancel it will cancel so we got this part right but besides uh, there's one more technique i, I like to show you generally how do we work in company is like you know it's like uh, we set up the handy part handy part would be like you know as you see the command name we have one more important property over here which is nothing but a command argument and we set up the command argument to this guy and we keep it like this okay so control kd so i hope you get the idea what i did is simply i am having a property called as command argument and i'm binding the value of an id now what will happen when i go to this uh, update command right i'm able I, I am able to access e dot command argument property so i don't ne need this thing right i'm sorry i do need this so i will say <coughs> where id sorry id is equal to e dot command argument dot to string right now when i talking in terms of link queue then i need to say id okay and uh, yes it would be all because now what happens 
when I use this ID, okay, we'll do as usual. We'll make the instead of ID dot text, it would be ID because the argument is returning as a string, right? So it is common for everything. Let's run one more time. <coughs> now, as you can see, when I oh, sorry, something missing. This part should not have a but let's anyways VOC update as you can see I am getting again one VOC and updated things right so you can see like there are two approaches either you can use a command argument or you can go by the default methodology which I showed you okay like using uh, e dot item and then you can see a find control that will help you to get the control uh, value right I guess that uh, will wrap up this session let me check edit uh, you can figure out this problem right it is something okay let's do that what happened why exactly everything got messed up update command argument why I did that okay I don't need that Okay, control S, control S, and let's run one more time. Now, as you can see, this time this is clean. I guess that would be all, right? Let's make it Leo and update, and we are simply done.